Hi, my name is Sharon Maguire and I'm based in the United Kingdom in a town called Birmingham. One of the things that I've been doing since lockdown has happened on a daily weight basis whilst I'm working from home is I take my daily hydration by drinking water using my reusable water bottle. And to contain my water, I use a recyclable aluminium cup, which not only has the benefit of keeping my water nice and cool during the day, but also it is infinitely recyclable. Cheers. Small changes make a big difference. Hi everybody, joining us from around the world. My name is Carsten Hoppmann and I'm Business Development Director at SGK based in Germany. I'm really excited today to be facilitating a conversation between our panel of three industry experts who are going to discuss some of the trends and solutions of sustainable package across the food and beverage sector. During the session, we will focus on the learnings from the design competition held in 2019 by European Brand and Packaging Design Association, APDA. The competition challenged designers to develop innovative product and packaging concepts for ice cream, targeting the future consumer of 65 years and beyond. On that purpose, APDA teamed up with Henning Olsen, Norwegian ice cream brand and market leader. So before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to the panel and hear a little bit about the interests and expertise on the subject. First up, I'm delighted to say hello to Merette Roga, who is the marketing manager at Henning Olsen. Merette, where do you and EPDA competition fit in? Well, thank you so much. And uh, yes, thank you. Um, my name is Merette Hogo, uh, marketing manager at Henning Olsen now on my 14 year in the company. Um, before working at Henning Olsen, I used to work for brand and design agencies in Paris as a consultant. And I still have that strong connection to the design world and collects lots of my inspiration to my daily work from the world of design. So that's why I and then consequently Henning Olsen was interested in playing a part in the EPDA award. Henning Olsen is the oldest ice cream producer in the Nordic region and we have more than 120 SKUs and we're present in more than 10,000 outlets here. And we make great efforts to be in tune with the needs of the consumer and the market trends. And we strive to achieve great and indulgent products and efficient and appealing packaging design. And I think for all companies today wanting to have a future tomorrow, we need to stay and we need to pay attention to both social and environmental sustainability issues. And as a major player in Norway, Henning Olsen wants to make sure that we are on top of the game. We continuously work on lowering our carbon footprint in all areas and packaging, of course, is included. The work on packaging can include anything from optimizing shapes to testing out new packaging materials, of course, in close relationship with packaging producers and experts. And then, of course, there's my personal interest in sustainability having loved ones that I care for and my own daughter, I want them to have a bright future. Thanks, Marette. Next up, we have Uwe Mellicher, who is the president at APDA. Uwe, tell us a little bit about your role. Thank you, Carsten. Well, first of all, a few words to our EPDA who ru was running this uh, competition. Well, our AT EPDA believes in exchange among uh, design professionals and um, we want our experiences, we want to grow in a community of like-minded people. So it's our passion, uh, our passion to create value. That's what we're doing. And we're doing this together in the whole value chain with the industry and uh, as well with uh, brand owners. So we're very happy also to cooperate with Merete in this, in this respect. I'm myself, I'm a um, packaging designer. I'm in the business for more than two decades and I'm running my own, own business now. So, um, and apart from that, I'm running um, EPDA as a president with a board of uh, five other people from different regions. 
regions uh, in Europe because we have members all across Europe from all up north from Finland down to Turkey and from Moscow to Portugal. Thank you, Uwe. And completing the team today, I'd like to welcome my own colleague from SGK, Creative Director John Hochmann. Hi, everyone. I led the SGK Jülich design team winning gold at the European Brand and Packaging Design Association Future Packaging Awards for our concept design IC Treasures. I'm really excited to be here today to talk to the SGK award winning design in more detail including connected packaging and its Digimark capabilities. Great. Thanks to all of you for those introductions. Let's jump straight into the competition APDA hosted in summer 2019. Uwe, could you provide a brief overview of the competition and the role of sustainability across the judging criteria? Yes, sure. I mean, this was a very exciting exhibition. Uh, um, <laughs> very um, uh, uh, exciting um, competition and uh, well we had a lot of entries um, yeah sustainability was one of uh, the major um, topics on this but uh, the top line was more about um, designing packages for an well older community for the whole uh, world um, has a, has to have a look uh, on that um, and we wanted to encourage designers to look beyond what's in the market already so we want to support functional and good design and their uh, sustainability for sure plays an important role you can see that with whomever you talk to if i'm jury member in in other competitions this is a major topic if i look if i talk to my clients uh, this this is a major topic. So whatever you do, uh, you have to have an eye on sustainability. It has to be balanced uh, with function as well as with product security. All this needs to be balanced out attractivity, shelf impact, but sustainability is, is a major goal we have to achieve. We have we um, kept the briefing quite open because we didn't want to like uh, force um, our um, um, designers who participated in this competition to work with several materials or get, get a too narrow um, uh, brief uh, in, in terms of ingredients uh, or format size or whatever. So it was a quite open briefing. And we, we were very, very surprised to see what they made out of it, what, what, a, what a wide range uh, of entries uh, we, we got from that. Um, they really, um, well, took the whole uh, bandwidth of functionality, of usability aspects, um, all this was really surprising. Um, and uh, well, we'll talk later about the winner of this competition that was even more uh, exciting. And also in this concept, um, sustainability plays an important role. That's great, thank you, Uwe. How do you think the competition has helped to progress sustainability goals within the packaging design industry? Well, we we point our fingers on this topic, uh, and the uh, the winning concept shows this uh, quite quite clearly. Um, so th again, uh, that was the reason why we we wanted to come up with a brief that, which is independent. Uh, uh, from um, client briefs, although uh, Merete is from uh, brand owner's side and it's important to have her to really have a close look if it's really uh, also something which she can bring into uh, whatever markets and on, on the shelf. But um, um, what I also can say is that uh, we um, had a very diverse women's jury. So we had five women in the jury coming from different countries, from Italy, from Norway, uh, but also from the USA. Quite exciting. And they're also all from different uh, professions. We had um, um, a lady from marketing. We had... Uh, uh, um, from uh, education, from branding and design, innovation was an Im important issue. Um, um, and so we had a fantastic conversation about what was uh, coming in and uh, the judging was uh, not easy so far as I heard. I wasn't part of the jury, but uh, I got all the comments um, from, from the ladies. Yeah, and uh, sustainability again was an important topic, but we'll come uh, to that later. John, 
Based on the, on the competition brief Uwe has described, can you tell us in more detail about SGK's sustainable design proposal? Sure, Carsten, thank you. The competition organized by the EPDA was really a great challenge, but also a fantastic opportunity for us to think about the future of sustainable packaging. We placed in this concept sustainability and the end consumer at the heart of the challenge with four main aspects. Great design, of course, sustainable packaging, connected experience and individual use. For this concept, we focused on identifying a primary packaging which was environmentally friendly and could act as a foil for the ice cream boards. We choose to use algae foil, meaning the packaging was completely compostable and could even be, maybe be eaten. In terms of the secondary packaging, we choose to use sugarcane, which could also be an eco-friendly alternative for conventional packaging. Sugarcane could, uh, could act as a great secondary package to help keep the ice cream shape and cool temperature as it is water resistant and good for deep cooling. However, for the biggest, for us, the biggest win of our design was on is that we have worked hard to push the boundaries of packaging and to discover new options. It is too simple to say that there are only good or bad materials when the possibilities aren't always known and really clear because design and conce conceptualizing are really great ways to challenge existing perceptions and knowledges around sustainable packaging. Thanks, John. The materials you choose definitely push the packaging boundaries. Can you tell us how you designed the package to also connect with the consumer in mind? Sure. Thank you, Carsten. We designed the packaging to enhance the way consumers shop today and in the future. We recognized that consumer shopping habits and expectation have changed both in store and online. Today, nearly 60% of the people in Germany use their smartphones to get further information about the products. And it's still growing because the information on the point of sale and on the packaging are not sim simply not enough. As a result, our concept answers these growing consumer needs. We enable consumers to interact with the brand and the product by means a digi of a Digimark code on the packaging. The code can be easily scanned via the smartphone and lets to a landing page on which, for example, the consumer can view digital content for, uh, from new ice cream flavors, ingredients and allergens, or, e or even where the packaging material is coming from. But not only factual information, but also entertaining content, such as competitions and tips on creative recipes, can be a relevant and useful marketing tool. We recognize that the point of sale and the point of experience shouldn't be treated as two separate channels, but can be joined up to allow consumers to engage seamlessly with touch points across omni-channel approach. Thanks, John. That's great. Can you tell us more about Digimark and how this can also contribute to the sustainability conversation? Of course, thank you. The Digimark code is really an incredible, incredible and innovative way of putting a watermark on the packaging because it is almost invisible and offers the possibility of displaying a marker on the entire packaging. This allows the Digimark code to act as the perfect bridge to the digital world and the digital content. And, on, and, and in addition, the Digimark code offers to optimize the supply chain on the way of packaging from manufacturer to the, to the recycling process. I really look forward for the further development of this great barcode. Thank you, John. Uwe, from a judging perspective, can you tell us what stood out for you to crown SGK winners at the EPDA Future Packaging Awards? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, I sum up what the jury said. I was not part of the jury, as you know, but it scored very high from an innovative perspective that was really uh, outstanding in this respect. 
And what I would, would like to do is I would like to read three sentences uh, that was the official uh, answer from the jury. And the jury said, ice treasure is a jewel for the sophisticated and environmentally conscious seniors in 20 years. With delicacy and care, ice treasure is proposing a sober, eco-friendly, yet highly exclusive and mouth-watering experience. Blending the futuristic qualities in packaging and ice cream with a contemporary view on the target audience and its needs. This concept stands out. And I can add, I mean, I also have my own opinion. I can just say it's so cool because it's modular in a way. It's sustainable for sure with this paper pulp uh, packaging, which is well, uh, great, uh, never seen in uh, in the ice cream area so far. It's appealing. And uh, with this uh, way, you can portion the ice cream. It uh, is perfect for the target audience. If you imagine elderly people, they can't eat all um, at once. So that's just perfect. That's what the jury said. Cool. Interesting. Thank you, Uwe. Yes. Merete, as a client, what was the biggest learning from the SGK design proposal? And how will this help advance the future of sustainable packaging? Well, for Henny Golson, the, the big takeout was really to envision what the future can bring. If we bring ourselves to really think outside the box and outside of what's necessarily available and possible today, and um, ice treasures or the concept sphere, as I like to call it, was very intriguing by its material. I was really interested by this algae foil. I thought that was uh, really interested, not not really seen in the in the frozen sector, and uh, the communicative possibilities, the indulgent yet maybe impossible for now, the shape of the sphere, but still so sober and exclusive design. So for Henny Golson. This competition helps us to look beyond today and really into the future. Mirette, it feels right to end with a final summary from you. Based on the way the competition pushed uh, sustainable packaging boundaries, can you tell us what the future of ice cream pack packaging could look like and what are its limits? Uh, well, it's always hard to predict the future, but I'm very delighted to see that uh, I really believe that we will find approved alternatives to plastic. Uh, we will find bio biodegradable materials. We will find um, a packaging that are a lot lighter than we see today. And also what I'm delighted to see is that we will be able to see indulgen indulgence and sustainability go hand in hand. And I think for the limitations, I think, you know, the limitations are when the designers and the creative people stop dreaming. That's where it goes. Thank you, Merete. It's great to end on an op optimistic note. Thank you all for the participating in this panel discussion and for the useful insights into this great project. To all online participants, thank you for your interest. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via our website, sgkinc.com. Any questions for Merete and Uwe, we will be happy to forward to them and put you in touch.